What's cooking, you fitness fans? Welcome back to your old lady's favorite YouTube channel. Today, we've got to talk about some more updates regarding all the things that are going on in the Mercado. We've talked to Icardi, Icardi, Icardi for days. And just like that, you know, you're going to get a curveball here and there when it comes to the Juventus market. Uh, we have some late dropping news when it comes to him, to, to Icardi, uh, when it comes to Marata, when it comes to the likes of Skumaka, uh, and then some other players popped up on the Mercado as well. And then we got to talk about some Juventus fans. Stick with us. We'll fill you in now. Ciao, ragazzi. Welcome back to the Beyond Canary Zone. My name is Justin Sofro. Today, it is January 3rd, 2022. It is a Monday. We're going to have your latest rundown of all things Juventus. You know all the things that you care about when it comes to, especially right now. We are in the, I guess, in the beginning days, but the heat of the Mercado now. And more and more rumors are just flying left and right. Updates left and right. It's easy to get lost in it because, you know, <laughs> this weekend we had about as big of a uh, blast when it came to Juventus news that we thought was going to end up happening. And then now we'll see if that's getting pulled back a little bit uh, when it comes to the Icardi situation. Uh, before we do anything, though, let's go ahead and get you guys to go ahead and hit that like button. Please hit the like button. It really helps our channel grow and helps us reach more Juventus fans. Uh, and if you like what you saw here just hit a like it's free we're not asking for much and then also if you're new to the channel or if you're in the channel and you haven't done it yet please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already make an account subscribe be actually part of the community that we're doing here and leave a comment in the comment section down below to let us know who you are as well and then finally hit that bell icon to see notified for all of our latest videos if you want to follow us on all of our social medias i'm at justin sofro on twitter now let's get into it all right, the very first news story that we have of the day to talk about is, of course, going to be involving Alvaro Morata and his ongoing situation. Uh, will he, won't he, with uh, Barcelona? And then all that goes along with Juventus really getting it needy to get a player to replace, replace him before any of that happens. Um, anyway, uh, Fabrizio Romano is saying that Juventus is bored, and Massimiliano Allegri met with Alvaro Morata today to tell him that they're prepared to keep him until the end of the season if they can't find a new striker on loan. Uh, Juve's priority is a top young striker in June. Still nothing in advance for Mato Icardi. So as we sit right now, it looks like the Mato Icardi train is starting to slow those... Uh, I guess the wheels, the train have wheels. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, the train is starting to come to a little bit of a slower speed. It used, it seemed like it was full speed ahead, uh, full steam ahead, I guess, uh, if we're going with that analogy still for a while, uh, for at least the entire weekend as it blew up. But now it looks like maybe let's pull it back a little bit to see what's going to happen. Uh, Juventus right now, of course, they're going to have interest in Icardi, but they're not really, I think from some of the rumors that I saw, they're not fully convinced when it comes to Mato Icardi, especially given all that goes along with it, because PSG is going to want to sell the player. They're not going to want to just loan him out uh, for six months just for him to come back and have to deal with that for an ongoing period of time. Same as Juventus wants to try to sell anybody as well, too. Um, and then when it comes to this whole issue right now, Marat is kind of like, I, I appreciate like, it. I talked about it last video. I appreciate his... Uh, his uh, demeanor in this thing where he understands where he's uh, the situation he sits. He lets you just know, I'd like to go here. But if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out for now. Anyway, let's move on, though, the next part of the topic. And this is all this uh, interwoven striker uh, dilemma when it comes to Juventus and what they really have right now. And that's uh, the prospect of Skamaka. And Di Marzio came out, and just recently, I think within the last hour or so, a lot of these news uh, bits and pieces started rolling out. Come out, comes out and talks about Juventus and their strikers, their search for a striker, uh, saying that the real objective of Juventus is to unlock Skamaka right now in order to have him for June. Um, so that's interesting. I guess what he's saying by that is he means that Juventus right now are trying to, um, I guess, barter, um, broker a deal with uh, Sassuolo to go ahead and cut. We talked about it before. Um, there is growing interest from some other clubs, including Inter. Um, as well as maybe East AC Milan down the, down the line as well, um, that are going to be interested, especially the Italian clubs in the striker that is uh, Skamaka. Um, a couple thoughts on this. Uh, first off, I'm more than okay with Skamaka coming. Again, I, I go back on the line, not to say that I told you so or anything like that, because I didn't have the channel at the time or anything like that. I'm also a known Italian show, which means that I like the Italian, potential Italian national team players. Um Last January, uh, January of 2021, I was big on the prospect of, yeah, bring him in. He'd be a great fourth uh, striker for Juventus, um, a solid player who's got the build of a real number nine. <sighs> but 
that was that was back then. That was when he when the value was about twenty mil. I think twenty million euros, something around that range, something a bit more reasonable uh, than what your Vincent and the other teams are going to be looking at here in the coming months. Um, to go along with that, I think he would have been a good uh, striker in the position that Kyle George kind of takes right now. Uh, Kyle George, he really hasn't. I mean, not that he hasn't proven a lot, but he hasn't really gotten a lot of opportunities. Needs more minutes. We'll see what he can really do down the line. Um, that's where I would have had, and that's where I would have sat with it. Now, uh, when it comes to this. I, it's a little bit disheartening, I'll be honest. Um, if this, and again, we know we do this day in, day in, day, day out. So it could be all the way back to my boy tomorrow before we don't know it. Uh, but when it comes to it, Vlahovic to me should be the top option. Um, when I see that Juventus is really trying to unlock Skamaka and that he is the target for June, all that really tells me right now is that Juventus are kind of um, resigning themselves to saying that, Vla, that Vlahovic is not possible. That's, that's my read of this. I could be completely wrong, but that's exactly how I read the situation. Um, to me, I feel like if you can if you can get Vlaovic, you get Vlaovic, and you, uh, you pay him what you need to pay him, you get the deal done, and I know people... I, I'm not going into the full monetary, the, the total numbers when I say that, but what I'm saying is you get, you get it done if you can get it done. As it stands right now, it seems to me more and more likely that Juventus are kind of reading the room and... Uh, and, and have resigned themselves to losing out on Vlaovic, which is unfortunate. Um, he is a what I consider to be a generational talent. We've talked about that on the channel. Uh, plenty of people ask about Chiesa. I think Vlaovic is a generational talent, and I think there'll be a huge loss uh, to not get him. But I would be okay with Skamaka in the long run. I just hope he really pans out to be something special and not just a another um, shot in the dark, hope hoping it works out kind of situation. All right. Let's move on to the next topic of the day. Um, and then last, or not lastly, but just of the last uh, couple hours or so, uh, Di Marzio came out and basically reported and confirmed the rumors uh, coming from English or er, England have been confirmed that Juve have also joined the race for Rudiger, who will leave Chelsea on a free. Um, he's a center back, German center back, um, playing for Chelsea. I think right now there's also, uh, along when he confirmed that, I think he also confirmed a few other names with it. I think like... Um, uh, I mean, I'd be terrible to say the exact names, uh, but some of the bigger clubs um, around the world are really interested in him right now. So there's going to be a lot of competition. Um, he's a center back. Juventus could use center backs. Uh, only problem with him is he really, I haven't seen longstanding. Um, what's the exact word I want to use for this? Uh, I don't, I, I don't know that he's been, uh, prosperous for a long period of time. Does that make sense? So I don't know that he can be a top tier player for very long. He's a, he had one really good year. Um, and then after that, he kind of, what has he, what has he really done so far? So I'd like to see a little bit more from him. I know, understand he's also, and I know, I know people get on me about the age thing and there's other players that are older that I'm like, give me him. But like, yeah, he's, he's getting closer to his thirties, uh, which is still re is really about prime time playing, but at the same time, uh, can you uh, really go long term with this player? Uh, anyway, let me know your thoughts about that. Be, um, or would, would they play him alongside the Licht maybe down the line? Uh, but as it stands right now, there's a lot of competition, and these are the first early really mentions of Rudiger coming to Juventus. So I don't want to I don't want to put too much uh, too much of a uh, concrete yes or no when it comes to the player. All right, let's talk about some Juventus players now and their situation. Bernadeschi was talking with Diggs and Italia, saying a new contract. All the intentions of the world are there, and we are open to dialogue. The intention is there, but these things are done in two. So again, Juventus and Bernadeschi and his agent have to come to the table. It can't just be one or the other. Just the desire of the player, just the desire of the club uh, to get this done. So we'll see what happens. I I don't know if I have the energy right now to really talk full on Bernadeschi and bring up my thoughts. You know my thoughts if you've been on the channel uh, for more than a day when it comes to Bernadeschi. If he if he can okay if he continues to play through the rest of the season playing well that I think he deserves he deserves it playing the way he has the last few weeks uh, that looks like a player that could be renewed um, if he doesn't continue playing well the only way I really see it or that I'd really agree to it is if you do it for a, a price cut definitely uh, when it comes to that situation uh, let's move on 
All right, Romeo Gresti, the uh, I guess one of the most trusted sources when it comes to all things Juventus, was talking about Archer and his situation. We talked about him being a potential target there, a uh, potential option to sell on the Mercado here in the coming uh, weeks. Well, now it looks like to date, he says Juventus had not received any official offer for Archer. If he were to leave this winter, he could only do so on a temporary basis. No club can take him on a permanent basis. So as it stands right now, it seems more and more likely that, that Archer will probably end up staying with Juventus or he could go out just on a little bit of a short period loan, uh, but nobody's looking on him just out flat out buying him right now. Uh, nobody probably even, uh, I would imagine, would be trying to do a, a loan to buy, but we'll see. We'll monitor. As you, again, I don't, I don't know how many times I could say this. Things can change day to day. As you've seen, if you watch this channel in the last few days, it changes day to day. Until the deal's done, it's anything can happen. All right, moving on. Let's talk about Kyle George, who I talked about earlier. This is Corey Della Sport and Romeo Gresti. Uh, I'm talking about saying Juventus are still looking at Milik, and a way to get him is to include Kyle George in the deal, which would be a loan. Kyle George would like to finish the season at Juventus, though. The Bianconeri are happy with the way the Brazilian is training, but in my opinion, that's Romeo Gresti saying this. It's one, to, uh, it's one to watch. Something could change if Juve decide to go for a player. So obviously, if Juventus end up going for another striker or something like that, um, that would put him farther down the line. You want to give him out. Uh, you want to give him some time to end up developing or whatever he can out there on his own, uh, potentially in another city I club or something else like that on loan. Um, back to this, and again, I'm just going to say this once, and I'm going to keep it short. Hell no for me when it comes to me like it's a no bro. Uh, no, thank you. I do not need me like uh, playing for my club. I don't need an injured aging player um, who I didn't respect when he was at Napoli. I don't respect his ability now. I don't want him at my club, even on loan. No, thank you. All right, let's move on. And then the final story of the day really is uh, really involving Aaron Ramsey and the situation around him. Romeo Gresti is reporting, saying that from the side of Ramsey's entourage, for the moment there are no big confirmations on the Newcastle rumors, but there's a common desire to part ways with Juventus. So we'll see hopefully more and more uh, something will end up coming and uh, coming to fruition when it comes to Ramsey and his situation. As it stands right now, I think within the last few minutes or so while I'm recording this video, I think somebody ended up putting out saying that, or I think it was actually um, Romeo Gresti said this, a comment made by him, basically another one after this was saying that it's expected in the next few hours, which <laughs> I hate, I hate this wording. I hate the next few hours wording. It's used in the Mercado all the time. And the reason I hate it so much is people use next few hours, which hours could mean, how many hours could it mean? I mean, hundreds of hours could be multiple days or do hours mean literally Overnight tonight. I mean, heck, right now it is. Uh, it's you know, it's pro it's it's past midnight over there in Italy. So, you know, it doesn't make sense to me. So I guess maybe it means by the morning. Maybe it means by the afternoon the next day, or maybe it means a week from now. Who knows? Uh, but as it stands right now, in the coming hours, <laughs> it's expected that uh, Newcastle will actually end up speaking with Ramsey and his entourage to work out something in the deal going in the future. Also, some comments. Uh, uh, Gresti ended up uh, right now before I don't have a graphic for it. Took a shot at Dybala's agent, basically saying that Dybala's agent uh, is a fake agent. <laughs> and basically took it. I, I kind of enjoyed it. After all the stuff that I talk about on the channel, saying about Dybala and his situation, and I hate all the uh, meeting for the meeting for the meeting stuff and all that nonsense. Take your shot, Romeo. Take your shot at uh, at Dybala and his agents. Uh, we'll see. What, or Dybala's agents. Maybe not Dybala as much, but we'll see. Hopefully that gets done in the future as well. We'll have more updates for you coming tomorrow. Trust us. We always keep you updated with everything that comes out as it comes out here at the Beyond Canary Zone. So make sure you're tuned in. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Make sure you're liking this video, though. Please, it definitely does help our, our channel out. If you just go scroll down, take the finger down, take it down, 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 and hit the like button. That's all you do. Just got to hit that like button. <laughs> so anyway, I appreciate it. That's the only news I really have for you today. Make sure you do all that like, subscribe. Follow us on all of our social media. I'm at Justin Sofro on Twitter, at Beyond Canary Zone as well, for on all you know Twitter accounts, uh, Instagram, all that good stuff you like. And then, of course, there's Alejandro Fancello, which is at Alejandro BZ on Twitter. And, of course, Julian Ginotti at Ginotti151 as well. We'll see you next time with more information. Forza Juve. Forza Beyond Canary.